Hello and welcome to this art tutorial. Well, I hope the homework went well. I hope you obtained some interesting results. And without waiting, I'm going to complete the backward elimination here on R so that you can see if you obtained the same results as what we are about to obtain. And mostly so that you can see how we complete backward elimination on R up to the end. So let's do this. So in the previous tutorial, we went up to building this regressor without the state independent variable. And that completed the step five here of the backward elimination algorithm. And so now we need to go back to step three to look again for the independent variable that has the highest p-value. And then we need to compare it to the significant level to decide if we need to remove this independent variable with the highest p-value. So let's do this. It's actually already ready. We just need to select this and press Command or Control plus Enter to execute. And here it is. Perfect. So let's move that up. All right. So as you can see here, we have the new formula profit expressed as a linear combination of all the independent variables except for the state. So that's fine. And here, therefore, we have the p-values for these new team of three independent variables. All right, and now what do we see here? Okay, so we can see that, of course, the RD spin is still highly statistically significant with three stars here and a very low p-value. And mostly, what do we need to do now? We need to look for the highest p-value, and that's actually this one, 0.602, 60%. 60 60% is definitely a very high p-value, way above the significance level of 5%. So definitely administration is not statistically significant. That is, administration has no effect on the dependent variable profit. So great, that's pretty clear. We need to remove administration from our regression equation. So let's do this. As usual, we're going to copy this. Copy. Paste. And here we'll simply remove administration. There we go. And now we have our new regressor ready with only two independent variables composed of RD spend, which we already know is highly statistically significant, and the marketing spend. Marketing spend, so far the p-value is 10%. Let's see what it will become. So I'm actually going to build this new model by executing this. So Command and Control plus Enter to execute. Here we go. And now, Let's find out about the statistical results of this new regression model. Let's select this, press Command and Control plus Enter to execute. And here are the new statistical results with only the p-values of the two independent variables, RD spend and marketing spend. Okay, so let's see. Wow, there is something interesting here. Can you see it? Well, first, RD spend is still highly statistically significant. No surprise about that. But we actually have one surprise here. Remember, the p-value of the marketing spin was 10% at the previous step. Now it's 6%. And actually, we want a dot here. You know, we jumped from this category between 10% and 1% to this category between 5% and 10%. So we actually have a dot now for this marketing spin independent variable. Plus, it's very close to the significance level. It's very close to 5%. You know, for example, if our significance level was 7%, we would have kept this independent variable marketing spend. So it's kind of arbitrary. You know, we, we don't know if we really need to remove this just because our backward elimination tells us to due to the fact that we made an arbitrary choice of 5% for the significance level. So since this is a tutorial about backward elimination, we will actually remove it, but this will not be our final word. Because at the end of this part, there will be this section about evaluating models performance. And we will actually add a criterion to make a better call at deciding if we really need to remove this marketing spend. Because right now the call to remove this marketing spend independent variable is arbitrary. So we will remove it because we want to follow thoroughly 
the backward elimination algorithm, but keep that in mind that it's not our final word about deciding what the final team is going to be. And we will get back to this problem later in this course, that is later in this part, to make a better call about whether we need to remove yes or no marketing spend. So let's remove it for now. That's actually the final solution, but it's really a good choice of yours if you actually decided to keep marketing spend. You will be proud of this choice at the end of this part. So congratulations anyway, if you decided to keep marketing spend. And of course, also congratulations to the others who decided to remove marketing spend because that means you just followed thoroughly the backward elimination algorithm. So congratulations to both of you and let's finish this backward elimination algorithm because actually, you know, this is definitely the final step. We have only one independent variable left, R and D spend, and we already know it's highly statistically significant. But let's actually make this model by selecting and executing this. Here we go, model created. And now let's have a final look at the statistical information of our model. So let's press command or control plus enter to execute. And here are the final informations of the final optimal team. A team that is actually composed of one independent variable. So that's actually funny to call it a team. But anyway, that's just a team of one. That happens. But wait for the final part to see if a team of one can really be the best team. So that's it. We actually completed backward elimination. Our final model is composed of only one independent variable, the R&D spend. And we can clearly see that this independent variable is highly statistically significant, not only because we have three stars here, but also because the p-value is really, really small. So definitely that's a very precious information for the investors that should really look at this independent variable to add another criterion into their investment decisions. So again, congratulations to both of you who either found a final team of only one independent variable, the R&D spend, or a final team of two independent variables, the R&D spend and the marketing spend. And for those of you who found another team, make sure to compare the steps that you did yourself with the steps that we did in this tutorial to spot which difference led you to different results. You can always ask me some questions in the Q&A. I'll be happy to help you with your model, but clearly the final team is either the R&D spend or the R&D spend plus the marketing spend. And that's what we also obtain in Python. And that's what you will also obtain in some other programming language or machine learning package. So thank you for watching this tutorial. Congratulations again. I hope you enjoyed doing this homework. You will have some other homeworks in the other parts. So you'll definitely practice, which will help you shape your expertise in machine learning. And speaking of machine learning, I look forward to seeing you in the next tutorial. And until then, enjoy.